I think you got a good point. I don't know. There's things, aren't there some things you read in the Bible and you try to figure them out and you go, all right, not sure about this one. I mean, try to figure out the Trinity, right? So when we look at it, God says, here's the way it works. Here's where the animals end up, right? People throw out because they think they're really smart, all these little arguments about it. And you're going to find three or four things people will always go back to to try to uh, negate Christianity. Uh, how can a whale swallow a man? Jonah and, <laughs> Jonah and the whale, right? Um, the flood, how did the animals end up where they are? You know, uh, where did Cain get his wife? I mean, you get, you're going to have all these kind of little things, but there's so much more around it about who God is, and nobody has answers for the very questions they're asking. I don't worry about it. I'm not too worried. Home, whole what? I don't think so. I think uh, if I, you ever, you ever at home sit down and try to figure out why things don't operate really well all the time, right? Or you look at a set of data at work and you got two or three points that just aren't fitting the graph and they're off, right? And you sit there and you go, hold it, business, we got to shut down. I can't figure out those three points. I, I, unless I have full, complete knowledge, I don't know what to do. Well, God gives this absolute evidence strong for this. <laughs> God gives us unbelievable evidence for objective laws and duties that we know. We have so much that make him clear that when we come across some things we're not sure about, my suggestion is, first of all, what he said is absolutely right. Don't let doubts worry you. Study it. Study. And you will on your own pick that one for you and dig in and go through it to the point where you're satisfied. I got about halfway into that one, I let it go, and I said, you know, <laughs> it's not a big enough one compared to these that it's really gonna, it's gonna muddy waters or make a, have a problem for me. Now, if the resurrection had issues, right, we're talking something totally different. Does that make sense? We're always gonna have questions.